Hi there, this is Tercio. We're back again with Civ 6, playing as Philip II of Spain. And we are off to a very interesting game here. I just love how many desert tiles we have here. Oh, what, what is this? Barbarians? I astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Sure. Okay, that is trouble. Now let's see what we can do. Um... These warriors will probably, yeah, they're going to probably hurt me a lot. Hold on, maybe I can finish off, I'll just attack the scout and finish him off. Wait, I'll attack with the slingers to, to the enemy, enemy warrior just because they won't retaliate. That way I reduce their combat strength. Okay. Now this scout. I want him to keep going this way. Some wine. Great. Settler coming out in nine turns. Our growth has stopped though. Okay, great. We actually get promotion from the slinger. We are going to finish that barbarian first. Actually gonna chase the scout downwards. Uh, there we go. Alright. If that warrior decides to run away, we'll actually get him with our warrior here. Let me check Madrid for a second. We have zero amenities, our housing capacity is almost full. Um, we do have 196 coins. Maybe I can purchase a, a builder unit. No, that's 215. Hmm. Okay, I suppose I, we just have to wait until we get the settler out. These guys can stay there. This scout can scout over here. And we found a barbarian encampment. It's best if we... Hold on. Let me see the promotions. Uh, I could have gotten the range of promotion so I could move through the forest tile. You know what? We're not going to promote him just yet in case he gets hurt. So we're going to fortify him on this tile. And I'll skip turn. Oh, the warrior's going to suicide. Fantastic. There he goes. And, of course, the enemy spearmen, the barbarian spearmen, attack my scout. I really need to get out of here. Let's actually go through La Venta. Okay, this slinger, I can promote him so he can get healed. Range versus strength land units. Yeah, we're going to go volley because it's going to be an offensive unit. And these guys can actually attack this barbarian here. Great. So, Pedro, we only know about him because of his capital there, but he hasn't done anything significant at the moment. Oh my god, barbarian horseman. That scout is probably going to die if he doesn't get out of there. Okay, we can't bombard. We can't range attack because the mountain is in the way. We can finish off the barbarian though. But that would be that would be tricky because perhaps there's other barbarian units here, and once I attack, they will attack my bar my warrior, and uh, he'll probably die. So what I'm going to do is just fortify this warrior here and get the slinger into position. Brazil is worshiping a pantheon. Religious settlements belief. That's the one. Uh, that's the one that increases uh, border growth. Oh god. Poor Scouty. I think now would be a good moment to promote him. Faster movement on woods and rainforests. There, at least. At least now he has more health than before. To withstand the attacks of the cavalry. Oh, and the enemy warrior has left. Okay, great. I'm gonna heal our slinger. 
Here comes Brazil's warriors exploring. Oh my god, they spawned another horseman. We really need to get out of here. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Right, so let's move the scout this way. Get away from those barbs. Oh, and La Venta's warrior. Okay. So we get to choose another research now. Um, we already investigated pottery, animal husbandry, sailing, and astrology. What would be the best thing to do right now? I mean, if if I'm going for a religious victory, I should see that... Oh, I already got astrology, though. Yeah, religious things, religious texts are... A bit far away now, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Writing. Yep, yeah, definitely writing. I want to get some science boosts as well. Library and campus districts. Yes, sir. Oh, another fresh warrior unit. Okay, Kin Shi Huan. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, mate. Let's see, where's your capital? Oh, wow, you came from far away, huh? Okay, I hope they don't kill my warrior unit. They're about to. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. So we completed another civic, we get caravanseries, and we get maritime industries. Mm, we also get the trader unit, and the joint war. The possibility of making joint wars with other civs. Do I really want to change any of these? Mm, I think not. I think not. I'm fantastically fine with the policies I have. But we do have to choose another civic now. Now, craftsmanship is nine turns. We also got mysticism here for the oracle. Mm. Mysticism would be pretty cool just because of the oracle but we don't need mysticism for political philosophy I really need to get a great prophet and in fact an unmet player is already going towards that objective we're not getting any great profit points for that we do need we do need the uh, how you call it this the holy site so we have to build that as soon as we can so really I'm not gonna go for mysticism just yet I think we don't we don't need the oracle what we're gonna do we're gonna go for craftsmanship mm, yeah we're gonna we're gonna skip military tradition as well we're gonna go craftsmanship Early Empire, State Workforce, and Political Philosophy. As for this scout here, he has to get away from the horsemen because they're still chasing us. Let's actually go towards King Shi Huan, huh? Namaskar. <laughs> Okay, we found Gandhi. He's incredibly peaceful at the beginning, but when he discovers nukes, he goes crazy. So, uh, let's actually see where his capital is. Okay, so I... What? Excuse me? Why did... Pedro, why? Why are you so crazy, mate? I didn't do anything to you. Oh, oh, Pedro. You're a disappointment, man. I wanted to be buddies with you. 
Okay, that was so sudden. What? Okay, it's just a delegation from China. Yeah, we'll accept that. And we got an inspiration. Faced with the threat of invasion, your people are ready to come up with innovative defensives. So we get a boost to defensive tactics because we got declared war. Now, that's troublesome because... OMG. OMG. OMG, buy units. Buy, buy units. Buy warrior. Buy warrior or buy a slinger? Has it buy warrior? Okay, this this I should have seen. I should have seen this coming. I thought his warriors were coming around just to explore and stuff, but no, they're coming to kill me. This warrior is in danger because he might die. He might die. Let's actually move him this way and fortify here. This scout. I think he, sh he should even stop. He should even stop exploring. He should come back to base. We could use him as a military unit as well. Oh my god. Thank you, Gandhi, for that trade delegation. Okay, the, the, the warriors are coming towards me. I could sandwich this one, though. Oh my god. Oh no, that barbarian, please. Oh, please, no. OMG. I really need to get over there and control the situation with Pedro. He, he's, he's gone mad. He has gone mad. Um, they're pillaging my food. That is not very good. That's not very polite of them. Let's go this way. So we can flank that barbarian there. Let's range attack this one. And this warrior has to get away as far as he can. As far as he can. Can I buy another unit? I think I got money mm, for a slinger. Okay, I'll go for the slinger. I'll go for the slinger. And just like that, Pedro has made me spend all my gold on military units. But we have to do what we have to do. Okay, so that slinger is an. Okay, that slinger is dead. Oh, are we in a bad situation here? We are certainly in a bad situation here. Okay. We could attack this this warrior unit there, and we'll attack with our warriors here. This guy really needs to fortify. The settler has to stay in Madrid unless he wants to die. And now we get to produce stuff. Let's make warrior. Yes, please. Make those warriors. In fact, once we get the fourth pop, we should focus on the production side of things. Six production. Let's see. And citizens, I mean, we don't have much. We don't have many production tiles, so. There's not much we can do about that. Yeah. Okay, settler, please stay there. Sleep. Okay, Pedro has retreated his units for some reason. Those barbarians are hot to my heels. Please heal as fast as you can. In fact, in fact, we should make a choke point here. Let's just move the bar the warrior here, and we'll fortify right here. The barbarians, either the barbarians fight with Pedro, or Pedro comes and we fight in this cho choke point. Meanwhile, this warrior is going to be healing here. Let's actually help out our friends. That's one movement and. Pedro's going to be retreating this, guys, unfortunately. I would be... It would be awesome if I could kill them. Fortify, mate. Okay, these guys should fortify, fortify. 
Okay, he's retreating. Great. You know, maybe, probably the reason why he declared war on me is because... Rising means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Thank you, Paolo Coelho. Okay, uh, the reason why he declared war on me is probably because I had a small military compared to his. This warrior, unfortunately, is going to die. That warrior is going to die because of the barbarians. That is really unfortunate. Pedro, you're an asshole, man. What did I do to you? What the hell did I do to you? Ugh. Okay, Pedro is an ass. We all know that. Um, research, we already got writing. Um, probably we could go for bronze working. No, let's go to, towards archery just to improve our slingers. Yes. So, there's a barbarian encampment in the middle of the desert where I want to settle with my settler that is horrible I'll see what we can do okay he's coming back he's coming back okay that warrior's gone I'm sorry mate sorry mate I did what I could that was horrible okay scout incoming as reinforcements, we should heal him up before he goes into battle. Let's actually first attack with a slinger. And now attack with a warrior. Like so. Okay, we got our next warrior in a few turns. A couple of turns there. Okay, he's going to retreat his guys. He's getting weak. We can take him on. This is this is easy peasy. We can take him on. All right. Um scouty scout, scouty max scout should fortify slinger. We're going to sling this guy to death. And we're going to finish him off like so. Now, it's really important that this warrior fortifies and heals because he's susceptible to being attacked now. In fact, they're coming back. Alrighty, we've got our warrior ready for battle. We're actually going to go this way so we can flank that way. You have to heal, my friend. So fortify. And fortify. And we should be making a holy site. Should I? I mean, I have that wheat resource there. That mm. You know what? Let's go for the holy site. So. We actually got this tile here which gives a plus three but we have another one here that gives plus five. Oh, because of the adjacent tile, desert tiles and this one gives plus six. Oh, the plus six. Oh yes, that plus six. Oh wow. Oh wow. You know what, maybe, maybe I should wait, I should wait three more turns to purchase this tile and make the holy district 
right here. That would be the greatest option of them all. So instead, we're going to build a builder. It's going to take nine turns though. I can take it, but we really need the builder. Okay, you. We're going to finish you off. And the settler can finally come out of Madrid. Oh no, he can't because there's still some warriors there. Let's attack this guy. And we finish them off. Fantastic. We also got a promotion. Okay, Mr. Settler, come out of the city. We're going to settle in the desert and get some Petra. Now, I'm not sure when I get Petra, so I should check I that out. Arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. Okay. Do I want anything of this? Yeah, I'm going to actually get that economic bonus, perhaps. 30% production towards builders. Or uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not going to need it. I don't have as many tiles to improve. I think it won't be worth it. But what will I do right now is actually check the Civilopedia. Search for Petra. There's Petra. So, it gives us plus two food, plus two gold, and plus one production in, on all desert tiles for this city. Must be built on desert or flood plains without hills. This is an amazing wonder for all this desert. As you can see, it gives us everything we need. So, we need mathematics. Mathematics. Okay, let's check the closest route to mathematics. It's right over here. If I click on mathematics, we go directly to currency. Okay. Better idea. Let's go bronze working. Just so we can reveal iron and get the spearmen, the encampment district and all that. Then, we go currency mathematics. Oh, we need mining for bronze working as well. Okay, fine. Great. You need soldiers. Okay, these guys, I'm going to promote them. There we go. Get that promotion so they uh, heal up. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I can actually come over here with, the, with these guys, come over here with a settler. And now we can link them up. They're linked. Great. There is no shame in deterrence. Having a weapon is very different from actually using it. Excuse me, Gandhi, what does that mean? Oh, okay, I get what you mean. You you're actually telling me that there is no shame in actually building a military force. I think I think Gandhi's Gandhi's hidden agenda is probably the um the have a big military. Yeah. Oh, he's at war with Pedro? No, I don't think so. He's at war with King Shi Huan it seems. Or what is this? I don't have a clue. He doesn't like us much, though. Pedro, he's an ass. I'm not even gonna talk to him. But Gandhi, uh, Gandhi, uh, he's he's a peacekeeper, man. I don't want to go to war. Anything here? Luxury resources. He does have ivory, but I'm gonna have ivory as well. And I'm not gonna send you a delegation just yet because I don't I don't want to spend my gold. 
right now. Okay, these warriors come over here. We can actually attack this scout. And we're going to attack with our scouts as well. There we go. Abusing the Brazilian scout. Okay, these slingers, they have to... Uh... Oh, uh, oh yeah, we could upgrade them for 30 gold. Yeah, that would be fine. I could use the extra power there with the archers. Next turn. Okay, Pedro is retreating. Now, the best place for the city, I reckon, would be smack here on this hill. Oh, they're actually attacking us here. I think I can finish them off, though. Yeah, in fact, we can. Finish off the barbarians. I like the, the sound of the arrows in this game. It's just so satisfying. It reminds me of the sound effects from Warcraft 3. The arrows of the Night Owls, they did kind of similar um, sound effect. Okay, so settling on this hill is going to give me plus one production for my city. I'll also be in range of the ivory. I'll be in range of the wheat. And I'll be ra in range of this salt. Even I'll be in range of this wheat here. So I think that is an excellent place to settle. Wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, we have to found our next city in the next turn, though. You guys should fortify. You guys should also heal up when you can. Um, so you want peace. And you're offering me gold and gold. Five gold for 30 turns. You know, that's a fantastic deal. That is a fantastic deal for a war that you started and you didn't even know that, you've, that you were going to win. So you know what, Pedro? I'm going to accept... Yep, look at his, look at his, look at his, look at his face, man. He's like really ashamed that he went to war in the first place. That is a great, great uh, detail there. I love the, uh, the expressions of the leaders in this game. So good. Okay. Oh my god, did he just kill my scout? He just got impaled, mate. Oh, we really have to avenge him. We really have to avenge him. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Mark my words. Let's actually settle. Barcelona, I think, is the second city. Oh, no, it's Granada. Granada. Great. So, we're going to fortify inside Granada. Um, the archers are going to go back to Madrid for defense. And the production in Granada is going to be... Is going to be... We should grow, though. We should grow first. Maybe a trader. So we can start building a road from Granada to Madrid. Yes. Let's go trader. Our production should increase... Well, no, it shouldn't. Hold on. Let's see. The only tiles that are worth it are... <laughs> are these two oasises. So our production is going to be incredibly horrible at the moment. Let's see what kind of yields does the ivory give to us. The ivory gives us one production. This field here is going to give us one production. Maybe I should just purchase those tiles. I'll actually wait though. I'll wait until Granada grows and I have that spare citizen to actually place them to work there. Okay, next turn. I'm too close? Am I really? You know what? My people will settle over there, please. I don't care. And it's not your lands, mate. I mean, I don't see your name. In fact, Rio is still far away. Sometimes the AI in this game is a bit unreasonable. It's like you can't reason with them. They're, 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 they're stupid. Okay. 
Things are looking good for us. We just went into war with Pedro. And we won that war. He couldn't invade us properly. And we're doing pretty good. That's all the time we have for today. Remember to stay tuned to my channel by subscribing and leave a like on the video. This is Tercio. See you later.